Is it really true that buying cameras and lenses in Japan could save you a lot of money? If you want to know the answer, keep on watching! Hi, Jeff Tinagan here of Jeff and Japan. I make videos about teaching in Japan, living in Japan, and eating in Japan. Basically, all the brands of cameras originated in Japan. So example would be Nikon, Fujifilm, Sony, and all the other brands originated in Japan. So following this same logic, does it mean that it is cheaper to buy here? Well, let me show you one story. I went to Nagoya to buy a camera. Specifically, I went to a top camera. It has four floors. The first floor was all new, brand new cameras and second floor accessories. Third floor was used cameras and the fourth floor, I don't know. <laughs> because I don't want to break the bank. So of course I bought, I used Sony camera. And I realized a lot of things. Number one, cameras and lenses are well maintained. They all look brand new to me. Except for a few, of course. <laughs> Number two, a variety of lenses and cameras are available in Japan. From film to mirrorless, these shops got you covered. Third, it seems that Nikon or Nikon has the most affordable resale value. Well, Sony and Canon still have the average price that are still the same with the online reselling. So I won't recommend you buying here in Japan. Well, by the way, if I'm free, maybe you can comment down a camera or a lens that you want me to check the price here in Japan. So please do comment down below. Thank you. Next, please take note that Sony cameras here, uh, the one that I bought is actually A6400, doesn't have an English menu. So if you don't know Japanese, you cannot use it. Uh, like me, I was studying Japanese. So if you want to buy a Sony camera, then buy it from your home country with an English menu. Now, a lot of people are actually buying it here in Japan knowing that it's cheaper. Yes, it's cheaper because of the Japanese menu, but you cannot change it anymore. Maybe you can change it manually and opening that camera and of course you can void the warranty. Fourth, testing secondhand cameras and lenses are allowed. Now you just need to use this uh, vinyl gloves and you can also actually test the brand new cameras. But of course I, I went there to buy the, the, of course I went there to buy the secondhand cameras. <laughs> But using the gloves, it will become very sweaty and you won't like. And it's the worst experience I had using a camera with vinyl gloves. <laughs> Fifth, now an English attendant might be there if you're in a big city like Nagoya, Osaka, or Tokyo. Now I recommend you to find these stores uh, that have English people because you know no not English people but English speaking people <laughs> because if you don't if they cannot explain the terms of payment if you're using credit card if you're using cash basis and so on one thing that you need to know is the warranty now from the different cameras they they have different warranties for the second hand cameras basically for the brand new cameras they have two year and one year warranties now i've checked some of the prices here from us amazon uk amazon and philippine amazon now there's just a slight difference so basically i won't recommend you to you know wait for your trip to japan and just to buy these cameras here maybe if you have the time make sure you can buy it already from your home country However, depending on the tax per country, I could say that Japan brand new cameras are a bit cheaper. However, on used cameras, I would say Nikon or Nikon has the better resale value. Abby's, my friend actually bought a 
Nikon lens. Ani mo china. Bye bye yung kanya. I could say that it's a good deal from that store. Generally, they are almost the same because it depends on the condition of that used camera or lens. The only deal breaker is that you have the high probability to see a rare lens or camera in Japan because of how they value recycling in their country. Before I proceed, if you're getting value from this video, please do like this video and consider subscribing. May this video help you to decide where to buy your camera or lens, whether you are traveling here to Japan in the near future or you're a future ALT. Now, is a used Sony 6400 cheaper in your country? Let me know in the comments down below. Now, I still have some videos here, so if you want to check them out, please do so. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. See you, Matane. Social distance.